Somebody's holding a giant sword. Wait, isn't that isn't that the joke fae from last year? It is the joke fae from last year, and that looks like tear thing. Summoners. But why is it tear thing? That looks like a girl though. That's another weird part. I mean, wait a minute. Are coming out to play. But there's no time to dwell on my dinner plans. Girls yeah, with big swords are nice. <laughs> I've once again gathered some exciting news to share with all you summoners. Brace yourselves for the latest information on the Fire Emblem Heroes game. That's right. It's time for Fae Channel. Let's get started. April 25th. Ooh, I didn't think no about this at all. <laughs> Let's start. I hear Fae twice. Here. I don't get it. Why. Oh, I think it's because it's coming through okay. my microphone a bit. Golden um, events are coming back. Neat. Golden Gathering week. All sorts of events all right. starting today. Double XP. Just oh. in time for the nope. start There's of Golden example. Week. Let's go over some of them now. Okay, let's see why I was expected. First, there will be a Golden Week login bonus. If you log in 10 days during the active period, you can get dragon flowers, sacred coins, 100 of and each. Heroic grail. That's oh, uh, pretty you. meaty. Check in That's daily. pretty meaty. Yep. <laughs> Next up, we've got Choose Your Legends Hero Fest Summoning Event. Wait, don't we have the? We'll be holding a series we already knew of this was gonna happen. And yes, we do have that coming up as well. But don't we already have it coming up? So this is gonna be doubled up yes. for the new three houses. See what else? Okay, cool. This one has the Hero Fest rates. Okay, then it's better to use it on this one. <laughs> That's so goofy. Oh, why do we? <laughs> why do we have to during the Hero banner? Fest Summoning Events is five percent. And the appearance rate for other five star heroes is three percent. It's gonna be that a couple means five stars have an for most 8 people. Eight percent combined chance yep. of summoning a five star hero. This is a great opportunity to fill your barracks with powerful allies. Okay. And the next thing on the agenda is Golden Week quests. Clear these quests for during tickets. the event to earn up yeah. to five first summon there tickets. You go. For each of the hero I'm going so hard for Edo Guard. I'll, I'll, I'll see how many you can get. If you include the free Tickets first three. summon you get on each summoning event, that means you can get a total of... 20! Hey, uh, you could do math. Hey. Square root. Square root. Four free summons. <laughs> I can't wait to try summoning all of those heroes. Yeah, I've 20 had tickets and one free on each, so yeah. Sorry, Faze. Xander's not on but these. Never least, we're holding oh, quiz event's back! Of Faze quiz event. Oh! It'll take place it's 10 orbs this time, at least. Wasn't it five and last year? <laughs> and so sure give the account of follow. Yeah. Let's get that's a little pretty, practice in, shall we? That's actually something. Now, study these silhouettes carefully. Which one do you think is me? Faze. Three. Uh, it's three, because that's oh, Phoenix. Good. I think <laughs> it's one, it's one. We'll reveal the answer at the well. end of this phase. Yeah, Phoenix is extra scruffy. There will be one quiz yeah. question each day over the course of seven days for a total of seven questions. All right. We'll be treating the all answer right. that gets the most combined responses from all you summoners as your collective answer. Yeah. If you, you collectively answer five or more of the questions correctly, didn't I try to get everything wrong last year or something? <laughs> probably Work did. together and give it your all. We all right. have some one. pretty tricky questions this year, so do your best yeah, be to figure out those answers. Again. All right then. Next up is uh, the big what? sword. Who are we looking at? That's uh that's old school from the crusader balder nope every four on the battlefield i strive to stay worthy to his balder. name that's sigurd i remember yeah it's sigurd wait a minute oh it's my. legendary sigurd it's sigurd from oh that's our legendary of the holy oh. war i was not thinking he was going to get it hard, he was also beset by tragedy and unable to accomplish his he looks pretty good his life cut does. short by S -I -N -P. His legs like, thank you. And yes, I am simping. But there was so Wait, Ledry Sigurd, Ledry Sella? Sigurd has uh, attack depth, catch Maybe four. This is how he yeah. If given the opportunity Wait, he to doubles in the player phase. Eight? This guy's going to be good. He was probably has all double. Yup, it's all double. Increases okay. his stats during combat and guarantees that he'll Whoa. make a follow-up attack when his foe's HP is high enough. Yeah, this, this sounds right. Also reduce the and amount also, of damage Sigurd takes from a foe's burst attack when he initiates combat. 
That's he's a heavy min max unit. Range of two. He has forty percent damage reduction on player phase. His holy knight aura yeah. skill can increase his wow. movement by and he also one has. at the start of your turn. I'm Wait, sorry, what? what? That's not a special. Sigurd that's not a special effect. <laughs> So that Cheater! Four spaces. Th that's not a if thing. His special did trigger during that turn, though. Okay. Then all of his allies can move one extra space as well. <laughs> this is a good skill to have. Hey, this is a rush character. Head on. So Which cooldown is that? His allies on oh the man. But I wouldn't expect anything less okay, than him. Okay, so legendary cigarettes actually really good. This feeling. If anybody thought Legendary Self is a joke in enemy hands, this Legendary is Hero Summoning scary. Event, Sigurd, Faded Holy Knight, begins on April 28th. Wait, I thought that trailer was tomorrow, so they're just gonna leave it off till tomorrow? I guess. I've never ridden a horse before, but I'd like to someday. Oh, I wonder yeah, if they Sigurd's make saddles a new top size. tier cap, just like his base. Oh. <laughs> Moving along. We have this. That's actually really interesting. There's a big contrast between Self and Sigurd then. for info on the next Player version of the Yep. Ahead of the next legendary hero remix Sigurd. summoning Sigurd. event, Sigurd two okay, legendary finally. heroes are getting powered up with additional skills as part of the update Please, that's Lynn. scheduled for May 6th. It's already known to be real man. Oh wait, that's right. I remember that. No, I want lit already. He'll Bushido gain the two Bushido two and attack speed I think there's a lot more to it. When they're both equipped, with, uh, not only will this oh, combination yeah, so of skills He got attack speed rain, he's great fodder. Wait, he has speed damage reduction. Takes, also reduce okay, Bushido two is the best new skill I've ever seen. Thus so far, cool. yeah. Free damage and damage reduction. It fixes his biggest issue from before, because DC without... Resistance. Oh! Not only will she okay. be able to reduce more stats of certain foes. Oh, at the start it's of like Mirabilis. She'll be able Animal to reduce the stats of the foes around those foes speed. as well. Plus, she'll be even stronger when she has Wait. no allies nearby. It turned into attack res solo four from Fortress Res. Res sucks on her. To be fair, that's so different. That's These a really skills good will be added along with the update on May 6th. I'm definitely I don't have either of these, Ryoma but Ryoma is actually now a really good legendary hero. Remix hero. Summoning event. Yep. Especially with Our Rigil next Flying topic Core. is My Summoner. More My Summoners? Again? Up until now, you've been able to choose one of oh, these more appearances, appearances for your probably? custom summoner. Yeah, those three but... males, three females. Well, technically. Now these new styles are being added as well. Oh, big oh. boobies! The what? The, that's the first one so with good. actual boobies. So why not add a couple more what options? The summoner, where are you hiding those? There's where were you hiding them? Wait, what's this? will also be able to build <laughs> different versions of their signature weapon, Bradablick. Bradablick? Summoners could only be equipped with a colorless tome version of Bradablick. We now uh, select the color. They'll be able to switch oh. to a sword. Oh, that Ooh. lance. Axe. This isn't how you use sword, Blue lance, tome. axe. Blue tome or green tome version instead. Huh. Hey, it looks like summoners will be able to fill all sorts of I'm roles on the battlefield. Still. I'm, st yeah, I'm still going to And on top of all that, <laughs> well, that's the really quests cool. you see here will be added as well. Ooh, two easy oh. ones. Oh, just the right 60 easy. To take on these Mjolnir strike quests. So give them a shot. So Mjolnir's will have plus, plus every time you'll be able around. to use the auto create function that in Mjolnir Strike too. Select auto create here, and it'll automatically set you ever. up with a team. I've never used the up. Oh, that's good. Can. But you have to put It'll on the right seals and set up setups, anyways. The appropriate yeah. mythic heroes never, for each never season. Use this because uh, yeah, I've never used it. And finally. Yeah. After the update, never, I'm, I'm, you will oh, be able to send your custom you can finally join to the my Azura Resort. Finally, that, that was weird. That was weird. They forgot about it. Opportunities to interact. We can like finally join our sword. harems. Oh, we Silver Sword, nice. Reserve like barracks are being added to let you house even more heroes than before. Uh huh? Each of your reserves will be able to house up to 100 huh? heroes. Oh, it's to make fast it. AA, I think. New buttons were added to the manage barracks menu to go along with this change. Let's try move to reserves. Tap. I'm assuming. We just need to pick a few heroes we want to move. And... Wait. Wait, this is extra. This is extra slots. In a sense. There they go. 
Yeah, there are extra slots Wait. then. Let's take a look at our reserves. Give manage groups a tap and. Whoa. Now your fodder Here's heroes can't even live with your real That's heroes. All the heroes we just moved. Fey, Fey. But what does this arrow do? That changes reserves. <laughs> You, oh, there are so oh, many wow. extra reserves. It looks like there are actually a total of 10 reserve barracks. So that's a thousand that barracks slots you can that you can just have in backup. So it's, it's so not like manuals. You, you can have the hero, heroes, but you won't be able just to deploy them. You yep. of room in your normal barracks. This is good for people who when just want to trade out heroes, heroes that they might want to use at certain points. Yep. to another reserve barracks. Just select might the heroes you want to move, that might take then a lot choose of work. the barracks you want to move them to. But wow. This makes organizing heroes into different barracks, barracks of your choosing a breeze. But everybody who's spent on on barrack space now gets Dang. scammed, essentially. Well, summoners, that's it for today. I don't care. <laughs> I know not all of you celebrate Golden Week, but it's a pretty big deal around these parts. So I'm going to take the time off to relax at home. Before we say goodbye, I almost forgot to share the answer to that quiz question from before. It's one. The answer is... This one! Yeah. Hey, that was probably too easy for you, huh? I hope you enjoyed the actual quiz, but for now, I need to give my brain a break. Chat, did you expect any of this? That's actually a significant update. The barrack space especially is going to save a lot of people headaches, and that's one of the reasons I quit uh, Azure Lane back in the day, because I just never had enough space. It just kept, the game kept making me decide whether to remove, like, to send away ship girls, even ones that I fully built, I had to sh send them away because I couldn't afford more, more space. Yeah. So that's one of the reasons, like, when you have a gacha game with too many characters, that's one of the headaches about it. So essentially, that's a huge resolution. Now... Now, for example, I could segregate Reinhardt from the rest of my barracks, so nobody ever has to deal with him. Same thing with Alphonse. Do you understand, like, in terms of, like, I don't have to see these characters again unless I go into reserves. I can put them into, like, the last, res last reserve and never see them. Like, Pretty much. There, are, there are also, like, mental aspects to it that I, I really appreciate. So you can actually mm -hmm. relegate Yeah, you can literally bench Alphonse bench now. Yeah, it's the true bench. That's right, it's the true bench. <laughs> no, to say the very least, if you're doing arena assault, you don't have to hold on to all the arena assault units at the same time. You can just keep the ones you need that season. Yeah, I think you just keep units you actually use and you actually appreciate, like you actually utilize in the, in your main barracks now. So and that's yep. not to say there's no use to your main barracks. There, there still is, but this is going to save you a lot of headaches in the long run. So like characters that you're working on or characters that you you need for later on for whatever reasons, for example, I hold a bunch of characters just in case, like GHB heroes that I might want to build one day in my barracks, but I don't really do anything with them. They just take up space. Or I hold right. some five stars that I don't know if I want to commit to or whether I want to merge them or not because they have different IVs and whatnot. They all take space. Now that's solved. Yeah. That's great. Yeah, exactly. For me specifically, I mean, I'm probably going to still keep everything in the main barracks because I just don't like the headache of having to move things around. Yeah. But that's just because I use a lot of things at a lot of times. I'm very wishy-washy. Yeah. So for some people, it's going to be a little difficult because you got to, you know, move things in and out of those reserves and whatnot. But like you said, if you have a project you just haven't started yet, or if you have a unit that you have but haven't committed to yet, like... For me, for example, I have a Niles that I five starred and I don't use him ever. Mm -hmm. I could just throw him over there and leave him until I actually want to build him up mm -hmm. and he won't take up space anymore. So yep. that's the kind of stuff that really makes it so valuable. Yeah, but it, it, it does feel bad because for people like me, how many barracks fakes do I have? I have 480. It kind of feels yeah, bad because it's like that's quite a bit extra spent because we have 300 at base. So you guys can do the math. So that actually is a fair amount of orbs. It's not that many orbs, to be honest, but it's a fair amount. I have 575. <laughs> <laughs> so that would be 35 orbs spent strictly on barracks. Yeah. So either way, either way, it's it's funny. Like, I like that from it's just a, it's a light, nice little thing that to, for them to put in. I'm glad they did it finally, because yeah. some people, the super free to play players, for example, have literally stuck to 300 slots and for them it's the worst because it's just like 
there there are way more than 300 heroes we're we're what 600 heroes in the game now 653 yeah you can see the issue chat even if you are a free-to-play player even if you don't go for five stars purposely you're going to end up with a lot even if you manual yeah. them it might bother you because you might end up making hard choices just for a single character slot like i don't want to have a headache just for sending a hero home you know yep exactly there's only so many slots and the more years go on we get like an average of 12 units or so per month it's eventually like it's yeah no it's about 11 to 12 per month so it's like <laughs> in a year that is over 120 units so if you're trying to just keep up with even a part fraction of that eventually your barracks is just gonna explode yeah as it is Ooh. all right the other thing was Wow, I didn't expect this fate channel at all. I really didn't. I thought they were just going to do a Legend of Heroes banner like r reveal and that's it. Like, you know, the normal trailer. That's that's all I thought this was. And then, oh, hey, look, uh, here's our Golden League stuff. That's it. Yeah, that's it's cool them to do this because chat fate channels are pretty good for building up hype. However, they've been really messing this part up. Building up hype, building up hype you could just schedule a fae channel and everyone would be looking forward to it that's how you build up hype don't just like I mean, randomly release to. it like i'm they all for it that. oh i also just realized look at the characters he's with it's literally the hall forms was a was a hint wasn't it because he's with, he's with I said mean, larcy well, and yeah yeah technically it was in order but yeah i think that it's partially a hint Huh. yeah anyways aside from that we'll we'll do a formal breakdown but chat let me know how you guys feel but as a as a player like i think all players can appreciate this really easily whenever they do these little extra things just for the player's sake just to save you some headaches that's always a smart thing to do yeah exactly i think that quality of life is one of the best things that they keep adding more and more of like they consistently almost on a month to month basis they are adding new quality of life stuff and it makes things so much nicer yeah and this is just another one of those fantastic updates yeah well this wasn't also particularly long it was only 12 minutes long essentially oh, yeah. but it's a it, big, it good bit of fun just, it literally is just here's the one thing we're adding and then here's the legendary hero and what's going to happen for gold week yeah basically yep 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 all right guys uh, leave a like if you guys have been enjoying so far. Let's do a formal breakdown now. But yeah, nice little surprise.